multiplying decimals by whole numbers. Multiplication of decimals. Step one, remove the decimal point from the question. Step two, multiply two numbers normally without decimal. Step three, count total number of decimal places in the question and place the decimal point in the product or in the answer at the end. For example, 12 multiply 0 0.3. 12 is a whole number and 0 0.3 is a decimal number. Step one, remove the decimal and multiply. 12 threes are 36. Count the decimal places in the question. 12 has zero decimal place, 0 0.3. After decimal, there is only one digit. So one decimal place. And in total, we have 0 plus 1, one decimal place. In answer, write down the decimal place after one digit. So answer is 3.6. More examples. A part 2 multiply 0 0.3 is equal to 2 is a whole number, 0 0.3 is a decimal number. Remove the decimal and then multiply the number without decimal. 2, 3s are 6. Count the total number of decimal places 1 because after decimal there is only one digit. So insert the decimal after one digit, 0. 0.6. Now there is no number as a whole part or before decimal, so we'll add zero. B part, 0. 0.4 multiply eight. Remove the decimal, multiply four with eight. Four eights are 32. Count the decimal places, only one. So decimal in answer will come after one, this one number one digit. So it's 3.2. 3 multiply 1.2. Remove the decimal. 3 twelves are 36. Now in question, only one decimal place. So in answer, decimal will come after one digit. So it will come here 3.6. D part 1.5 multiply 2. Remove the decimal, 15 twos are 30. In the question, there is only one decimal place because one digit after decimal. So in answer, the decimal will come after one digit. So it will be 3.0 or you can say, you can say only three is the answer. Let's see an example. Multiply 3.098 by 47. For that, let's check the number of decimal places first. The total number of decimal places in this case is 1, 2, 3. After decimal, we have 3 places. So the total number of decimal places are 3. Now multiply this number with 47 without decimal. So 3098 multiplied by 47. Now first multiply 7 with 8. 7 multiply 8 is 56. 5 will come above 9 and 6 will come down in the answer. Now, 9 7s are 63 plus 5 will be 68. 6 will come above 0 and 8 will come down under 4. Now, 7 0s zero are 0. 0 plus 6 is 6. 7 3s are 21. 2 1 21. Now we have multiplied with 7. Cut the cats. 5 and 6. Now multiplying with 4. For that once place under 6 you will write 0 or either cross. Because we are doing the multiplication with the tens place. 4 8s are 32. 3 will come above 9 and 2 below 8. 4 9s are 36. 36 plus 3 is 39. 3 will come, up, come above 0 and 9 will come under 6. 
four zeros are zero, zero plus three is three. So three will come under one. Four threes are 12. Now we'll add six plus zero, six, eight plus two, 10. One will come above six, carry, and zero will come down. Six plus nine, 15 plus one, 16. One will come above here, carry, and six will come down. Three plus one, four plus one, five. And two plus two, four, and one as it is. Now, the in answer, we'll write the decimal. So total number of decimal places are six. So decimal will come after three digits. It starts from here and move till here. So it will be here. So answer will be 145.606. So this is your answer. In every question, when you are multiplying the decimal number with the whole number, remove the decimal, multiply it, and then at the end, count the decimal places. It could be three, it could be one, it could be two. And then after decimal, after two or three or one digit, you will write the decimal according to the decimal places in the question. And you will get your answer easily. Do some workout. This is for you. Write this answer in the comment section. 1.2 multiply 5 is equal to. And we will check your answers later. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications of our upcoming videos.